Hello. Happy Friday. Nick here with an N. You know, Nick with an N. But I respond to uh, most anything. Um, let me see. Today was table day. Let me uh, pop a squat on my rolly and we can uh, chit chat. Or I'll chit chat. You could chit chat too, but I'm not going to hear you. Um, yeah, here it is. Pretty, uh, pretty gratifying. So, my thoughts, yeah, it's, it's good. Um, let's see, I'll slide this here. The, you can see the red, uh, the red grease on the ends of the uh, cars there. It's the same grease that I used uh, when I would um, put the ball screws back together and it's like a, I think it's like some DuPont. It's like wheel bearing grease, really, really heavy. Um, I just uh, slathered some of that stuff in there when I slipped the table on and uh, I was really surprised. <clears throat> These are uh, medium uh, preloaded uh, rails and just with the addition of like a little bit too thick of grease, the uh, oh, you could really feel the uh, stickiness of it so that was sort of interesting i mean so uh yeah and another thing you can see uh you know the nemo over there when you uh, machine um you know something that's close to like it's uh travels um you know classic thing the table comes over on like the uh, the ways and the you could feel like a manual machine as the all the weight hanging on there it's much harder to move you know the handles and uh, it's pretty cool like the uh, the bearings are rigid enough to where it's just it doesn't uh it doesn't care whether it's at the you know the middle of his travel or so super juiced on that let's look at the uh, the grease setup so you can see in there, uh, this is the X bone uh, grease fitting. And then down in here, it goes to the Y and there's actually a T that feeds from, from this side. So you just put your grease gun on there periodically and give her a hot shot. Um, super simple and uh, I see lots of people do you know oil on the screws and there's you know hoses and you know all sorts of like you know stuff like really really uh, elaborate and um, that's fine but uh, um, I mean I'm, uh, I'm all for like simple elegant you know to the point kind of things and um, uh, you know I think if you could figure out like a way to do like a nice clean like uh, you know one shot setup go for it but um yeah i mean i see real machines i mean at least machining centers you know it's always some sort of grease lubrication so um yeah i think grease of course you know sticks better to the screws it doesn't wash off and if you can you know keep your screws protected enough from you know chip ingress uh then you can sort of have it dicked and uh that's what the plan is here you always hear like, oh, the grease, the chips stick to it. Oh, well, yeah. So, that uh, that's the X and the Y. And the Z is the same way. Super simple. Nothing special. This is the box stock grizzly hole. And then here is the uh, end cap business. Um, uh, this was, I first saw it, uh, old Rust stuff on YouTube you know, did something of similar. And uh, yeah, cut the notch out here. And the idea is, you know, to maybe let some coolant flow through there a little easier than the, you know, the two hole or the holes in the back, even though I added, there's one there and I added another one there. Uh, 
And so yeah, here's like a little trough thing, you know, it lines up right there. And um, so yeah, I thought that was cool, so I did it. And then I also made, you can see here's a steel plate. And um, I mean, the thought behind it was to, you know, try to keep uh, coolant from rolling uh, over the edge. And it's a drip edge. You know how a drip edge works for, you know, done some flashing or a, I think a coolant slinger, same thing. So you can see when this is all bolted together, that edge right there hangs down and uh, water can't wick uh, up the backside and then down the rails and down the screws. Um, there's also a trough that goes along the front. We'll see that here in a, maybe a week or so. So I think that's as much blabbering as I can do about this. Um, yeah. So yeah, it, uh, it works, it's cool, smooth. These, made these little, they're not really T-nuts, they're just pieces of a uh, key stock that I just nipped the end off so there was some sort of draft to it. And they slide in here and this is what holds the uh, one, two, three, the drip edge along there and then here's a adjustable uh, X uh, home switch or so yeah I think the next plan is the next thing to do um, gonna get the motor on the left hand side there and the screw all um, dialed in and put the head on um, Probably won't put any of the, uh, like probably won't put the Z motor on or any of the uh, sort of fluffy sheet metal stuff, just so it's a little easier to uh, swing it into the enclosure. So sort of the uh, fluffy stuff will go on last, I think, or at least that's the plan. Uh, so, uh, yeah. All this stuff's still here from a couple days ago. Uh, what? You can see that there's two pulleys. Uh, one's like a slightly more overdriven. The, oh, for the uh, X screw, um, I think lots of people normally, uh, um, sort of what I did on the Y, um, you can sort of just track the axis back and forth and like, self-align the screw if you want to call it that um so the you know being perfectionists and you know nervous about everything uh made up to call them like a jig or a fixture or a, an alignment aid uh, these were set up um these were set up before the table was um put onto the saddle because you have to bolt the cars on, take them off, slide the table off, yada, yada, yada. So anyways, these reference off of the rails and then the screw was dialed in and it, you know, sits in this gully. Um, so it helps uh, just, you could just dump the thing right in there and uh, and go from there. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and here is the, uh, stepper side of the uh, x-axis oh come on camera you're killing me so think uh think whore mock so this is a stepper cover doodad um i just machined it out of like a solid plate and you know, put some, uh, I actually went to the hardware store. I didn't have like a corner rounder that would match the, the radius of uh, this guy. And so I went to the hardware store and got like a cheap ass router bit and ran her in the old bridge port. Bob's your uncle. So yeah, this has got, you know, it's all a manual machine. So it's got, you know, a little bit of time in it. And this is sort of funny. You could see the porosity right here and the porosity right there I'll give you two guesses what that is um, 
you spend a couple hours making this, turning handles, and then you drill the two holes in the wrong spot. Hell no, I'm not going to make a new one. So yeah, they're just uh, less than satisfactory uh, aluminum welding skills. But, you know, what are you going to do about it? It's just a dumb cover, so. Yeah, so these wings um, hold the, the cover on there, and then this little standoff is uh, one of the other... Uh, it holds the table, the gutter on the front. So, moving gimbal. One, two, three, four. So yeah, sort of fun. Sort of fun. So much fun that uh, I'm going to let you all go. Thanks for following along and uh, chatting me up. If you like, thumbs up. If you're feeling really frisky, you can even subscribe. I promise I don't bite. So until the next time, uh, probably this weekend, um, we'll catch you later. Thank you very much.